Welcome back inside the Now Morning Show. Now, since May this year, we have been partnering with the Art Society of Trinidad and Tobago to give you an art exhibit series right here on Now. And this week, we feature the work of artist Christiana Scotland, and she joins us in studio this morning. Good morning, Christiana. Good morning. How are you doing? Morning. I'm fine, thank you. All right, so where do we begin? Let's start at the very <laughs> beginning. How did you get into, into art in the first place? Well, that was a really interesting story. Um, at one point in time, I got a phone, and my grades were kind of slipping a bit, so my mom took it away from me, and mm. I had nothing to do. So I suppose I just started doing art to pass time, and then it became a really big passion of mine and a big part of my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's not, there was no catalyst that said, you know, I'm, I'm inspired to do this, which is boredom until you realize we are good at I didn't even know what my full potential was. Mm -hmm. So, you know, seeing where I am now, I'm like, that's crazy. At what point did you realize that, you know, this is something I can't take seriously? When I got to Form 4 and I had to choose subjects, mm -hmm. I saw art there and to me, something just told me to choose art and try it out and it worked out really well for me. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I know we have some of your pieces on set, but before we get to each one of them, tell us the type of art that you do. Well, for media, I do everything because mm -hmm. I just want to keep a wide variety. Right. So I do acrylics, I do watercolor, I do ceramics as well. I love pottery. Nice. As well. oh, yeah. Okay, so you really, really was bored and you just dabbled in everything just all at once. Dabbled in everything. <laughs> Let's get to the art pieces on set. So I'm going to this one. Uh, I wonder if it's the one behind me, guys. Yes? Maybe the one behind me. Tell mm. us about this one here. That right there, that character is someone I created. Ah. Yes. Tell us about this character. Well, actually, so we've moved on to this one here. So tell us about the one that you're seeing on the, screen. on the screen. Yeah. The, that piece I did for a art competition for the Center of Language and Learning. Yeah. And I actually got first place. Of course. So it's a really romantic festival with bright lights and that really ambient atmosphere. Yeah, interesting. What inspired you to paint wow. this? Um, this is this is digital or this is digital. Is digital. I think all are digital. Oh. All are yeah. digital. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. All right. So let's move on to. Oh, okay. So we we are in the cricket season. I'm hoping. Okay. They're not going to cricket yet. <laughs> We're yet. going to this one here. This has a kind of psychedelic feel to it. Yes. Tell it us does. about this one. I really love bright colors. Yeah. And I just love to be most. I'm a maximalist. <laughs> so it was just an idea of this the surfer girl just laying down in water, and it's just about light in general. Mm. So I really wanted to give that that atmosphere of just colors and brightness and, and hopes and dreams, you know, like a dream world. Yeah. She's there laying down and she's just engulfed by dreams. What is it about color that makes you want to experiment with it so much? I just think color means everything in life. I mean, color brings life to life mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. And I think it says about, says a lot about you, says a lot about everything. So I just, I really love colors. Yeah. Tell me about Surfer Girl. <laughs> yeah, sir, that's my girl, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Surfer Girl is my girl. I mean, I have two of her, mm -hmm. you know. Yes. Um, that is a character I want to make for an upcoming book. Okay. So she will be in most of my pieces. She's really headstrong. I think she represents me in a way. She's very headstrong. She's very brave and courageous. She likes to take big steps, big leaps. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to really depict that in work and kind of empower young women a bit, you mm -hmm. know? You surf? No, I don't. Does that any inspiration for choosing <laughs> that, that sport in particular? I just love surf. Ah, <laughs> yeah. okay. I would never do it, though. <laughs> No, CPL is on, mm -hmm. and you should know Christiana. Yes, <laughs> so I'm coming to I Cricket went here. Mad. Yes, <laughs> that's what we're talking about. I was so many stars. Yes, that's what we're talking about. TKR? Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, I find that year was not as enthusiastic as the opening stand was. Good response. Yeah, good response. that's how many politically correct answers. Go ahead. Of course, so we're seeing, of course, like a match in, prog in progress here. Yeah, tell us yeah. about it. Well, them getting on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I like the old style cricket a little bit for me personally. When I do my artwork, it gives me a lot of contrast to work with. Right. So, you know, I have my little cricketers on the field and your, your umpire there, you know, he's standing up. He's of like, course. I'm watching all yeah, you know? 
Now, interestingly enough, you would have painted the, the, the players in white. There's a reason for that? Um, this was based on old time cricket. Yeah, you know? so not course. CPL. Yeah. Not, not yeah, all exactly. the bright colors of CPL. Yeah, not all the bright colors. Yeah. <laughs> so it's test, it's test it's cricket, exactly. essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to hear it from her oh, now because I, I was wondering if she really know cricket now. Hmm. So well, yeah, she I, think she time cricket. I think she passed the test. I wanted to go back to Sofa Girl only because mm -hmm. she is standing static in front of the surfboard, mm -hmm. but there's a wildness with the waves that's playing in the background. What was the reason for that? contrast I like she's a girl who likes a challenge you know so she see a big wave and she gone she ah, ready you know okay okay so that was kind of the idea is to show you can conquer everything you know yes. the wave is big but she ready she you know? ready she ready love it love it love it love it now uh the first time I met you Cristiano mm -hmm. well kind of met you or saw you uh was when the Ashanti King was here and they had a little going away, but it was like his last, his last lap, <laughs> for lack of a better word. Yeah. And you presented him with a piece of your work. I did. Tell me about that experience. Oh my gosh, my hands were shaking. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I was just hoping no one could notice me, like shivering in the back there. I was like, oh my gosh, there's no way this is happening, mm -hmm. you know? Because, I mean, for me, I literally never imagined my artwork would make it this far. That piece is one of the pieces I hold dearest to me because it was the first one I ever exhibited. Mm. And it was basically a piece that had all the essence of Trinidad and Tobago and really symbolized who we are as a nation. You know, it was a girl dancing on a steel pan. And in the background, we had the parliament, we had symbols of Trinidad, we had the flag, you know, I had some carnival masks as well. So for me, I felt like giving that to him would really show, you know, that Trinidadian culture and our appreciation for him coming here, giving us his time. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, I think he had a great time. So I was really honored and very humbled to give that to him. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure he really appreciated that. But let's talk future, Cristiano. Where do you see yourself in a few years? Are you going to pursue um, the artist's dream and paint all your life, or is it going to be something that you pursue on the side as a passion? Um, it will definitely be on the side as yeah. a passion. Yeah. yeah. Why? Why you don't want to go down the artist's <laughs> role of being engulfed in art all the time? Um, for me, I need a balance. So if I want to do law, ah. and I just think that art... <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> For me, I think art is like my relaxation. I don't want to put the pressure of making it a job yes. on my shoulder, because yes. that definitely takes away and adds some stress. I don't like the stress. <laughs> so you think, you think law do have stress? Well, that's a different stress, different you know? Kind of stress, You're willing yeah. to accept that stress. I'm willing to accept that stress, but stress can't touch my art. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yes, that is yeah. a quote I'm I mean, going to keep. Where else can we see your pieces? I mean, are you exhibiting any of your pieces now? Um, currently, I'm doing Symbols of Independence, but I'm sure that is ending soon. Right. So that will be at the Art Society of Trinidad and Tobago. And I am planning to have my pieces done, put on display at Horizons Art and Framing. Right. And I also have art available on my Instagram, at Crimson Red Slayer. And that's where I sell some of my anime work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's not only just the, showing, but the anime, anime. The anime work is what started this whole back and forth. How you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, know. I can tell. Just, just the way you see it. Just the way you see it. <laughs> yeah. You see it with that kind of passion, like it was your first child, no? That was my partner. Yeah, yeah. you see, yeah, you yeah. see. <laughs> that's what we're talking about. Well, Christiane, it was a pleasure having you on set this morning, and thank you so much for loaning us your art pieces. I know our viewers love it. We love it having it here on set with us for the entire week. All the best with what you're doing, young lady, and I look forward to seeing much, much more work coming out from you. So thank you so on much for side. joining us this morning. On your side. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for having me. Of course, you're welcome. And remember, guys, that was Christiana Scotland, our artist in studio, as we like to say here this week. Remember, we have partnered with the Art Society of TNT to bring you this art series that we do every single week. So let me thank, of course, Christiana, our artist this week. And we're going to take a quick break and be right back. Stay with us. Oh,